Today I'm going to talk to you about what an elephant can teach you about achieving what you want to achieve and getting what you want to get. So I'm going to talk to you about the seven lessons that you can learn from elephants that will help you overcome obstacles. You may already know I, I talk a lot about breaking points and how you move on from breaking points and the strategies for exits. I, I always believe that there are three things that you need to be able to move on from a, breaking, from a breaking point. You need to have clarity about the type of future that you want to live in, what you want some type of vision of what it is that you want to achieve. The next thing you want to do is set your intentions and those are intentions in selecting a specific destination that you'd like to go in, a, a direction that you'd like to go in, choices that you'd like to make and that usually revolves around some type of goals that you set yourself that you're going that you want to achieve and once you've set your intentions the next thing to do is to start taking action and it's the action that gets you closer and closer to actually achieving those goals so in those three areas of focus I want to talk to you about intentions you can set yourself intentions but inevitably somewhere along the line you're going to run into obstacles and that's going to hold you back to some degree and the question here is how can you overcome obstacles? It's perfectly normal to expect obstacles to come your way. If you think just in terms of physics, any force gets opposed by friction. So there's always this balance between trying to do something and being held back. So you should expect when you set yourself goals that there's going to be some type of obstacles coming your way or there's some type of adversary which is trying to hold you back from achieving what you want to achieve. This is normal. And so the question then is, how do you build momentum and push through those obstacles and get past that friction. I want to talk to you about overcoming obstacles. Sometimes what you might find is that you start seeing symbols all over the place. And it could be that those symbols are symbolic of something that you might want to pay attention to. A few months ago, what I started noticing was I started seeing elephants all over the place. Every time I walked into a shop, quite frequently I would see elephants. Now, some people believe that that is your shamanic guides, spirit guides, trying to tell you something. So if you're into shamanic spirit guides, you might have a deck of cards like this, and you will see the symbology of what these animals mean. And in this case, an elephant is about resolve, and it's about overcoming obstacles. Now, if you notice that you've seen some type of symbol all over the place, you may be asking yourself, so what, what does that mean? What, is it, what, is this, what does it symbolize? What does an elephant symbolize to you? An elephant symbolizes to me perseverance, determination, strength, power. You could ask yourself, okay, what is it about trying to overcome obstacles? What can I learn from an elephant about trying to overcome obstacles? Now, there's a bit of a history to this. I work in the engineering environment or have worked in the engineering environment for a long time and part of one of the courses that I attended was on innovation and the technique that I was taught on how to innovate and come up with new ideas and new solutions to problems is to use something which is completely unrelated to the problem as a way to get new inspiration and new ideas. And so what you then do is you put an, an a picture of an elephant on your page or in the middle of your uh, desk if you're working with a group of people and you start then saying okay what attributes has this animal got that could potentially give you an idea and some source of inspiration about how you could apply it to the situation that you're focusing on and the problem that you're working on. So this is an innovation technique that um, gets used quite frequently in innovation environments. So I'm going to talk to you about the seven lessons that you can learn from elephants that will help you overcome obstacles. The first lesson to learn is that you need to think of ways to change the problem. One of the things that elephants do is they're highly destructive. They will push uh, trees over and one of the questions if you may be asking yourself if you go into a nature conservation area is to is to try and figure out you know why are these why are these trees all being pushed over why are they all being destroyed. 
And part of the reason for why elephants do this is that they like to eat the, the softer tender bits on top of the tree, which is where the new growth is. And those are quite frequently too high for them to reach. And so what they'll do is they'll push the tree over so that they can get to it. But there's a second advantage that um, pushing trees over gives them, and that is that when the tree starts regrowing, those new growths will be closer to the ground and easier for them to eat. So that's the, the first lesson that we learned from an elephant, is that you should change the nature of the problem. The second thing we can learn from elephants is pushing harder. An elephant knows that it can probably push over most trees. And if it gets to a tree which is giving it a significant amount of resistance, it will just use all its weight that it's got and really lean into it as, as much as it can. And it's that perseverance and that determination of continuous pressure that will eventually make the tree break. This is related to motivation. If you have sufficient motivation and perseverance and you keep working and pushing at a particular problem, you will eventually overcome it. Right, the third lesson that we can learn from elephants is to be resourceful. Being resourceful means using whatever you have at your disposal. So an elephant can use its forehead to be able to push up against the tree to push it over. It can use its tusks to leverage at bark, or it can use its trunk to wrap around branches and to pull them off, or to use the tips of the, of the trunk, which is quite dexterous, to do fine uh, motor work. So it is highly adaptable in terms of all the resources that it has as a, at its disposal to be able to solve problems. And um, this is the lesson that we learned from elephants, is ask yourself the question, how can you be more resourceful in solving your problem? Think about extra tools, extra techniques, extra strategies that you can use to be able to come up with a solution. So the fourth lesson we learned from elephants is to use the right tool. So elephants have this really adapted, uh, well-adapted trunk, which has got lots of functionality in it, but at the same time, the rest of the trunk can be used to wrap around things and to use quite a bit of force, brute force, to like pull leaves off or pull branches off. The fourth lesson that we learn is to use the right type of tool. Thinking about what is the, the best solution for a particular problem, it's about choosing the best strategy for that particular situation that you find yourself in. The fifth lesson we learn from elephants is that they are gregarious by nature, they tend to stick together in communities and this is because there's, there's safety in numbers but there's also more resources with sticking together in a community. There's more ability to solve problems together and to have some feeling of community. And this applies to humans as well. You'll find that you will tend to perform better when you're in a support community who can support you with the needs that you may have. And that may come in the form of just getting extra ideas from other people. It may be that you're getting emotional and psychological support or you're getting intellectually getting new ideas or you're learning from other people's experiences. So there are plenty of reasons why it's important to be part of the support of a community. And so the technique here is to surround yourself with people who are interested in solving the same types of problems that you're trying to solve. And what you get is that collective wisdom of the group and the support of the group to be able to help you. The sixth lesson we learn from elephants is, you know that old adage that an elephant never forgets. That thinking and that wisdom comes from the fact that elephants live for quite a long time. You know, they can live to 70 years quite easily. And they have well established, um, they have good memories. They, they remember where their water sources are, where their food sources are. They remember trails that they've taken many years back that they can refine and reuse again. In essence, what this tells us is that elephants have this ability to learn, just as humans have this ability to learn. And one of the most important things about learning from your experiences is that you can adapt your approaches and that you can improve the way that you're trying to overcome your obstacles and you can learn from other people as well. A really useful technique here is to take any failures that you may feel and to turn those into learning scripts. And then what you do is every time you think about that experience, you recite the learning script. And what happens is gradually over time, you don't think about the failures anymore, you only think about the learning scripts. Everything becomes positive reinforcement. So this is what we can learn from elephants is to never forget but to remember the right things. Remember the learning scripts, not the failures. And the seventh lesson we learn from elephants is to keep moving. 
Elephants tend to browse on leaves and if they eat too much from one tree, that tree is going to be decimated and it's going to die because it won't be able to sustain itself. So what these trees do is that they start producing bittering agents that change the taste of the leaves and that makes the leaf unpalatable to the elephant. And that way the elephant then knows it needs to go on to another tree to be able to get sweeter leaves. So the elephants know that to get better quality food, they need to keep moving. And it's the same with you trying to overcome problems. By continuously moving, trying to find new solutions, new ideas, that's going to help you get away from any stagnation that, that you could potentially get stuck in. So keep moving. Seventh lesson from elephants, keep moving. These are the seven techniques that you learn, that, that we learn from elephants on how to overcome obstacles. So my recent retreat when I went out to South Africa, the first animal I saw in the Kruger National Park was an elephant. And this is the video footage that I took just to let you share that experience with me. I've just spotted an elephant down at, in the water in the river. It was walking in the direction where I can't see the river, so I'm going to walk down the road and see if I can spot it. I know they said there have been lions around, so I do need to be careful. There's the elephant. Hello, big boy. Where are you going? There he is, walking through the trees. Oh, that's glorious. Actually being able to stand this close to an elephant is unbelievable. I wonder if I can join the road and see if I can find him again. Looks like a male to me. This is a path. Okay. Elephant had its trunk up in the air. I think it was trying to smell. Don't know which way the, the wind is blowing, but let's follow it quickly. He's fanning his ears, it's quite hot today. My estimate is it's somewhere around 34, 35 degrees Celsius. <laughs> He's standing in the shade. Right, where's Mr. Elephant gone? He's standing in the shade in the tree. See more elephants on the other side of the river. The one on the other side of the river has got a baby with him. So general rule is to stay away from animals with youngsters because they get very protective. Oh, what a beautiful creature.